Ready? Ready. We're ready for this. We're cold. It's icy. Good morning. It is about, what time is it? <laughs> about 7 a.m. Believe it or not, sunrise is not till 7.37 and we're at the beautiful, fantastic, amazing Cradle Mountain back here again. Ready for some landscape photography. Let's go down and find ourselves a spot and test out the new, my brand new Nikon D850 camera. I'm really excited about that. It uh, was minus one this morning and uh, unexpected frost on the car. It's actually pretty difficult to, to get off the windscreen. <laughs> Couldn't see a thing, but anyway. Yeah, so I just got myself a composition and I'll, um, I'll set the camera up. I'm gonna have to move around a little bit to get what I want, but I'm gonna get some foliage in the foreground and then the mountains. There's uh, gonna be no reflections on the water this morning because it's got that ripple in it. And there's not a lot of cloud for the color to bounce off when the sun comes up. So we'll be relying more on the colors hitting the sides of the mountains and giving us that beautiful colors but you know once again here we are cradle mountain just check that out all right all set up and uh, now it's filter time there's a lot of reflections on the water and the best way to get rid of those is with the circular polarizing filters I'm going to put that on and I'll put a I'll put like a, a 0.3 soft ND grad on as well just to settle down the sky and then I'll uh, I'll talk you through my composition exactly what it is I'm doing so camera's just set up there, the new Nikon D850. Loving this, uh, loving the flip out screen. Makes it real easy with you, goes down lower. Alrighty, so there's the back screen. As you can see, F8, five seconds, ISO 64. And the composition is the, the foreground here. Leading up to that there, so something like that. And just waiting because there's no there's no clouds up in the sky or anything waiting the sun will hit this peak the side of this peak and the side of this mountain here uh, the sun is rising from the left over there and we'll just light everything up with a nice hue of gold and we'll look very very nice so i'm just going to play with my d850 this morning this is really my first landscape shoot with it so here with the boss and uh not that cold really is it nah, it's good. so we've got a circular polarizing filter now remember with these you've always got to spin them around uh, and if you do have the ones that go into these slide-in rails, you've got to always make sure that the words, the, the letters, are facing outwards to make sure you've got the CPL the right way around. Unlike the screwing ones, they can only go in one way. These ones, you've got to do that. Uh, but this is the Lee Kit SW50. I just bought an adapter for it so I can use it with my other lenses. So we'll be trying that out this weekend as well. I'm going to put the big stopper in and see if I can get like a, a really long exposure. It's always the easiest one to find because it's square. As you can see, it's just black. So this is a 10 stop filter. Wow, what a beautiful morning, eh? Only thing you can make it better was if the wind totally stopped and the ripples stopped and we got the reflections on the water. That'd be pretty cool. The boss is upset with me because she's wrecked her new jacket. There's goose feathers coming out of it. Not good. Got the timer going. For some reason, even though the Fuji has a timer built into it when you put it in a bulb setting, Nikon still haven't done that. I don't know why. Feathers getting me. <laughs> don't talk about my feathers. <laughs> I'm very upset. So I'm going to do a one minute exposure, which is probably going to be a mistake because now the sun's starting to hit the mountain. But uh, I'm at F5, one minute with the light. Should work out okay. I was hoping for snow, but we got ice. It was very icy this morning. Just doing a longer exposure, which is real tricky when the sun's coming up because what will happen is my exposure will overexpose if I'm not careful. If I did one minute, it was slightly underexposed. Now I'm going to two minutes to see how that works out. So currently up to 56 seconds. Makes for boring viewing if we just wait for another minute. So the power of video will come back in a second. That one worked out perfect, absolutely perfect. It's always good, it's good when you uh, win a trick, isn't it? Once the sun comes up, I find the big stopper is really quite difficult to use whilst the sun is rising. 
So 0.9 grad ND there. Behind that is the CPL filter. I don't know if you can see there's two filters in there. Yeah, so that front one is a ND filter, back one is a circular polarizing filter just to take the glare off things and make things look a little bit nicer. And I've got it set up at currently F9 and it's giving me one second. That's at ISO 64. Uh, everything else is as normal, white balance is uh, in auto, matrix metering. I've got a slight bit of exposure comp dialing because I was getting some flashing highlights. So it's always good just to check that when you're taking your photos. But uh, cracking morning, the light's going to start getting a little bit harsher now. But uh, still looks pretty good. So we'll get some nice shots. Something worthy of printing and sticking on the wall. Out in the field sometimes, swapping lenses. So I bought this new filter holder here. This screws onto the front of a 77mm lens and allows me to use this big sucker on any of my other 77mm lenses. So now I can use the same filters I use on the wide angle lens in there. But uh, what I've done now is I've put it on the portrait. Still got the filters on the front there, uh, 24 to 70. I'm at 35mm, uh, so halfway, not even halfway. And then it's quite a lot of light now, so uh, shutter speeds are quick. Everything's happening pretty fast now. And one of the things they did with this, this screen, they made it articulating, but it only goes that way, which is not helpful when you're in this mode. I'm going to shoot at F18, just half a second. Still need to make sure I don't shake anything. Shutter button done. Looking pretty good. There's a bit of cloud just going past the feet. that video at this beautiful location, the iconic Cradle Mountain, then make sure you give the video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell if you haven't already, and I'll see you on the next video. Now get out there and take some photos.